Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this is John. What are we doing today? Ice fishing on <gasps> Howes Lake. Howes Lake. Howes Lake, uh, you know, whilst being in three inches of water. Yeah, yeah, so if you can see the ground right up in there. As we cleared the snow and ice out from the shanty last night, it made us the low point on the lake. So we ended up with about four inches of water in our shanty last night while we were sleeping. And so anything we do is immediately going to start with us getting wet. What a great way to start. I am I'm I had a good sleep though. Did you sleep well? Yeah. <laughs> Super excited. John's so excited that I brought him on this ice camping adventure. We really can't even call it ice fishing. It's ice camping. I was out here with Nick and his brother last night and we caught some fish. Uh, and then John got out here. We slept and we were going to catch some fish today, but now it's snowing all day and we're in four inches of standing water. So I think the first order of business is gonna be figure out what we're doing with our gear. I don't think we're staying for another night, not with all this water on the ice. But you know, we're gonna pack up and then we're gonna fish around a bunch. That'll be fun. Yay. Yay, thanks for joining us. Still snowing a good bit out there. Still got a bunch of standing water in here, but the heater works. And we got dry boots for now. We got dry boots until the minute we put them down. Right. We're gonna get on with the get on with the day. Oh, of course it's snowing. Just starting to pack stuff up so we can move the shanty. Nick came out to join us. It's nice to be around Glailing, so we get to see Nick. Hi Nick. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks for bringing us garbage bags so our stuff doesn't get wet. No problem. And cookies. And Chinese food for some reason. <laughs> I don't even understand, but but there there is Chinese food, so we're happy. We're packing the gear. Gonna hike it back to the cars over there and then try and get out and catch some fish, man. This is weather's this weather is abusive. Yeah, I mean, I figure we'll just, well, you know, after we get shit off, we'll just go fish around a bunch of holes. Everywhere in that area, we always do really well. He couldn't believe that this was 33 feet of water. It was on its side. No, you just said it probably had water in it. Oh. It's what it is at this point. We got the shanty empty so we can pick it up and move it now. We're just gonna take our stuff back to shore. Packing the sleeping stuff up, emptying the sled out, so we can uh, so we can get back out to that little shanty out there and give ourselves a jig around. Do you describe yourself as a jigger? No, not at all. Good. Not at all. Me either. I'm not very good at it. Do you describe yourself as? <laughs> <laughs> For perspective, this is where we were. It's just water. Just water. Nice lake though. There we go, finally fishing. Just using the three holes Nick and his brother made last night that they were catching out of. Not putting holes in the shanty this time so that we can keep it dry, so we have somewhere dry to go. Probably gonna scout around 
a couple of the more holes we have going on. Jig around and try and catch some uh, panfish. You can get him to chase it up to the top and take it sometimes. Or if you like slowly work it up and drop it down again past them. Oh, they're kind of weird. That's why flashers are cool. You can actually watch them come up after the bottom for your lure. Yeah, yeah fishy, fishy. We've been out here. It is weather. It just keeps snowing off and on. I'm going to start bouncing around to different holes, see how this stuff goes. So we got Drew out here just making a line of a couple holes, four holes or so. Spread us out. Get some tip-ups up. Cover more ground. More lake. Oh, we just dropped a bunch of holes and look what happens. I was joking about putting it back in the hole. <laughs> I told him to put it back in the hole and pretend like he just caught it. He said fish out and he reels up this fish. Look at this fish. What is that, trout? A little bass? What kind of bass is that? Uh, yeah, it looks like a smallmouth. Okay, go ahead, bud. You can go back home. So there we go, no skunk. Thank you for taking our skunk away. That's why we bring Nick. I mean, we don't really bring him. We actually come here because he lives around the area, but. Well, let's see if we can't get it done for our own selves, eh? John's trying to wring some water out of his, uh, oh. He's getting some water out of his boots. Gonna put some hand warmers in them. Cause as we're sitting here, it's getting a little cold. Try and stay at the same depth and just go across, drill four or five holes. And then we're gonna fish those for a little bit. It is still snowing. There's still a lot of weather. We're only a couple hours from dark. I went and cut us a line of holes that way every 20 yards, going up to the car. John's fishing them right now. And then I cut a line of holes going out that way toward Clem and then a ring. We're gonna fish our way back to the cars and then fish our way around that ring of holes. Now we can move along with our day. And it's snowing again. We fished our way back to the cars. We set the shanty up at the closest hole we drilled to the cars. Now we're just gonna kinda fish these couple holes and fish out there and use the shanty to stay warm. It's been a great adventure so far, even if we don't see fish. Uh, Clem caught a fish, so you know, still a successful video. We don't all have to catch fish. Oh man, we just got set up again. John went into the car to get warm and this youth fishing club showed up. So we got about two dozen new people out here drilling holes and getting set up for the day. Cool man, great to see kids out fishing. Only gonna be here for like another hour and a half, two hours anyway, so you know. Making a good time of it. Glad more people are out here, even though the weather is weather. One of these. I don't even think she puts bait on it. This is Nick's brother, Jordan. Hey. He came out. He's fishing. He's got his Vexilar. After watching him actually use it, I kind of want one now. Your your bait is the little moving light, and then you'll watch, you know, a light come to it, and that's a fish. Super cool. Good to see you, Jordan. Good to see you. Well, we were planning to fish way into the night, but then someone lost their keys. Me, I am someone. I lost my keys. And so now I'm packing up all my stuff just trying to find them, and it's getting dark quick. So now the real adventure begins. But if you liked this adventure where we caught one fish, thanks, Nick. You know, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe down there somewhere. Thank you, this has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching.